Hey, you crew. Last week, we had just passed through the Panama Canal and proceeded to begin our voyage to Mexico. The challenge is, we've got a time limit. 10 days before we need to be in America. Can we get past Costa Rica, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala to get to Mexico? Let's see how we do it. I just saw a whale. Big fluke, a big tail come out, so I'll slow it down. Let's have a look. Maybe it's a pilot whale. Well, I've never seen a pilot whale do that. A pilot whale's just like a big dolphin. I forgot to film because I, I'm shocked. Hey. Oh my god. It's just there. You must be curious it's so about it. So big. Well, at least it's not against us. We're still doing more than six knots, but motor sailing. Just a very light northerly, which is completely opposite of what the forecast says. <laughs> We're definitely gonna burn a bit of fuel this trip. We should be dropping the hook in about five minutes. Made it before dark. That's a good thing. Not even going to pack the sail away, just tied it down. And it seems reasonable in here, it's not too rough. Not too much as well. Hopefully we don't get bothered during the night by anything or anybody. It's just no point pushing against a 20 knot wind. And a, and a current, there's a two-knot current running down this coast too. We'd be doing a backward zigzag. Yeah, it's supposed to be five or eight knots southwest. Instead, we've got 20 knots norwest. And we've got internet here. Yay. This is the very edge of Panama. <laughs> the, the, internet again. the border is just here, Panama and Costa Rica. It's going up fast. Oh, we're in four meters. Really? About a month earlier, when raising the anchor, we heard a terrible grinding sound. We had broken a gear in the windlass. It would still be months before the parts would arrive. In the meantime, we had to haul it manually. Does it look like a sand? But instead of using the primary heavy anchor, we're using the Fortress Aluminium Lightweight Anchor on five meters of chain and the rest nylon rope. Much easier to haul. Can you feed it out as a backup? This is how we anchor now. <laughs> no windless? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> it is a problem, it's a pain in the ass. Right. And this is where we are. It says five meters, but we're in two meters, 2.5 meters. And there's a note on the Navionics there that someone got things stolen from fishing boats. So we don't see any fishing boats right here right now, but hopefully it stays that way. Yeah. Maybe you need to lock the dinghy. Yeah. Hmm, we can rest now.
Straight to a marina. <laughs> Straight to a marina. <sighs> what are you gonna do today, B? Well, the wind, we, we waited here so that there were very light winds. So, five or six knots will be there just before dark. But there's nowhere to anchor just there, so we've got to decide where to keep going, whether to keep going or to try find an anchorage in the dark. But, what is it? Six now. I wanted to get going at 5.30. Anyway, it's okay. Show me your hands. You hurt. You always get hurt. Yeah, no windless socks. But there's no parts available at the moment. It's an Australian brand. Um, it's been good, seven years, but yeah, they actually broke something inside the gearbox. So yeah, hopefully, two or three weeks time, the parts will be available and he'll ship them to us in Mexico. In the meantime, we're gonna try and anchor somewhere shallow is good, with less stuff to pull up. Um, but yeah, it's uh, backbreaking, backbreaking work. We should probably take this down, huh? I mean, we've checked out, we're out of the country, even though we're still in the country. Yeah. But if the officials come and check us, they may get offended by the fact that we have only half a flag up. <laughs> All day <laughs> dealing with these little squalls. They're not too gnarly. You know, the most we saw was 25 knots, and just now 23. Looks like we're just coming out of this one. Nice. We've still got a good wind angle and a good speed. Again. <laughs> Go on, the sound effects. <laughs> oh, that's a baby.
bit of a few hours of storms, some really close lightning strikes. I think we're through most of it. Still a few flashes over that way. But it's good to have daylight. Isn't that muddy? Watching Ozark. Summers like my grandma. She used to call these big summer holidays a ruling day. Why hand washing? We don't have a washing machine now. This is. I just saw one in there. Well, it's broken. Ah. So this is what you do now. <laughs> Just get those underpants, make sure you get right in the crutch area. There. I was just happy to let it do the sailor's wash, you know, just leave it in the bucket for a few hours. Motion of the boat does the agitation. But someone's a bit more fussy than me. She likes clean, clean, clean clothes. It's amazing how quickly things change. 30 minutes ago, Princess was doing the washing and hanging it out. We had to screech her up. All of a sudden, a big black storm came up. We got a reef fin and a few rolls on the furler. But sitting still comfortably around the seven knot mark. And our angle's still good now. Look at this vector. So this is a fishing boat by the look of it next to us. He is doing 35 knots. <laughs> look at that. I mean, we're doing eight. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> he looks like a fishing boat. He's got a big fly bridge, but What's his name? Jaru Jaruko. Lovely evening that way. <laughs> Not so much that way. Hopefully, it stays away from us. 
bit of a long day motoring, motoring, motoring. Um, tried to sail for an hour, but wind died. Uh, I don't know how many miles we've done, probably 65. And we've decided to keep going. Uh, there was nowhere that we could really anchor before dark anyway, so keep on trucking through the night. If we keep going, uh, hopefully tomorrow afternoon we'll get some wind from an angle that is sailable. It's only light, five, eight knots. But if it's on a beam reach with a screecher, we can do five or eight knots. So that'll be okay. We've had some dolphins this evening. Not very playful, but a couple of little scattered pods here and there. And we had a whale this morning, and, a, and just earlier too. Just uh, a couple of hours ago, we had another whale. I don't know what sort they are. They're not humpies, but don't know what they could be. Pretty big, you know, like almost the length of Jupiter. Always uh, a bit of a foreboding feeling as night falls, especially with big storms like that. Yeah. Is it easy to fix? Uh, depends. We've lost some, you know. Yeah. 